In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Content Samurai. Now, if you don't already own Content Samurai, I'm going to put the link for it directly under this video. And if you do get access to Content Samurai through my link, send me a message and let me know. I'll put all the details directly under this video and I will send you some extra videos to show you also how you can better rank your videos in YouTube and Google as a way of just saying thank you for buying it through my affiliate link. So here we are inside of Content Samurai. Now I am going to probably have these videos here covered up so where you can't actually see what they are just for privacy reasons. I do a lot of online marketing, a lot of affiliate marketing, and I don't like for my niches to be revealed to everyone else. But you can see here that I've done and had a lot of videos made through Content Samurai. A lot of these videos I reuse. And one thing that makes Content Samurai really nice is after you create videos, you can categorize them into different categories and you can move them around uh, just to get access to them easier to find them and you can search for them. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to make a video. I already have a script made and I already have voiceover made just to save us some time. But I'm going to show you how you can create videos with Content Samurai even if you don't already have this uh, set up for you and ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is click on the create a new video button. Okay, now when you're in here you're going to see on the left hand side you have different options and these kind of help you to get you started with choosing the best type of video based on what you want to create it for now you can see here by default the first one selected is video from an article or a blog post and they have a lot of pre-made templates already made for you and you can kind of see what they look like and if you want more uh, to see more about what these look like you can click on any of them for example, we click on this one, and it's going to give us a full preview of what this video looks like as it's playing. In today's hectic world, a lot of us live in. And if at you the scroll the through, of you'll be able to see that with this video template, that the text in the background all stays on the bottom. So, if we go over here to sales video. And if we choose one of these, let's just do travel, for example, and play it. You're going to see the text shows up different on this one. We have text in the middle. We had text on the bottom. And if we scroll through, you can see how it changes. And even though these templates are set up this way, as you're creating your video, you can change this and have it set up however you want to. Remember, these are just templates to help you to get started in the right direction. So these ones here are the sales videos, and then they have ones made for a video for my online course. So if we click on one of these and click play, we can see that this one here has different styles also. We got text in the background on the bottom, then it moves over to the left side, and Throughout the video, we can see the text just changes along with the animations in the videos. So what I'm going to do is, they got them here for social media and also for property listings, but I'm going to go up here to the top one, and we're just going to do one, we'll just do the first one here, and I can go in to customize this template and make changes to it uh, to start with. So for example, I can give this a name, and I will just name this... Uh, I'm going to do a video on video marketing, so we'll just name it VM. And the background color we're going to leave a little bit dark. The font we'll leave it the same. The text color, we, the bold, and then the, if we want to highlight the text, you can see here Whirlwind Frenzy is what's bolded, and that is the color right here of what shows it when it's bold. And down here, the splitting algorithm. Here's what I like to change. I like to change this one slide per sentence and what this means is for every sentence that you put in your script it's going to create a new slide for it and you can change this to do per paragraph or per phrase for me I like to do it per sentence so I'm going to keep that and I'm just going to keep all of this selected and we're going to click actually I'm going to go over here and I want to uh, remove images and I want it to only select video clips for me and save the template. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the VM template and use it. Now here we are inside of our script and this is where we're going to paste or type in our video script that we want within the video. Now I already have mine created so I'm going to go ahead and grab it and paste it in here and then we're also going to give it a title and then we will move on from there. Okay so I'm going to paste in my script and you can see here it's pretty much one long paragraph so what I'm going to do is break it up into sentences which will tell me how many slides it's going to have. So what I'm going to do is just I'll just go up here and start putting a line in between each one of them. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 it looks like. And what we're going to do here is go ahead and we'll give it a name. Video marketing. One slide per sentence and we have everything checked except the images and you can select the images if you want images to be mixed in with the video clips but for this one I just want video clips and then we're going to come down and click create scenes for your video and what it's going to do is it's going to take the content that you put in and it's going to automatically pick out video clips and it's got thousands and thousands of video clips they've actually recently integrated with video blocks and so there are so many different video clips now available that it can integrate and use within your slideshows or within your videos as well as images. And so we can scroll down and we can see what it looks like since it created for us. So here's our first slide. And as you go down through here, you may find some that you want to redo or, add or change the video clips in just because it may not fit perfectly with what you want. So if we scroll down, we're gonna see an ad in the paper won't cut it anymore. People would much rather be visually engaged. This is a good video for that. 80% uh, of internet traffic will be video. You can see it picked us out a relevant video for that one. Okay, and the video is fast, simple way. 60 to 90 seconds. What's more, Google loves video. And okay, now this one here, this video is the same as one we already have, so we're going to change that one out. Uh, other than that, everything else looks pretty good. Um, that's kind of eye catching, so I'm just going to keep that in there. So, this video here, the only thing I have to do to change this video is to make sure that I'm on this video, it's selected. And you're going to see over here where it has pulled these keywords or these words from this script and so it's automatically searched based upon these words and I want to change this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in search let's just try search results first see if we can't get anything from like Google or okay yeah that one's a little bit too let's just try search okay and we can see here we got all kinds of videos we can add and actually here's one here for Google looks good so I'm just going to click on that it adds it and if we hover over it, it's going to give us kind of a, a low quality visual of what this clip is. And of course, once you create your video, it will be in much higher quality. Okay, so actually all this looks really good. Now you can come in here and you can make any kind of manual changes you want to this video. So you can come down to your text and you can, you can come up here and you can bold it to change the colors you can change the text you can add more to it you can delete it you can italicize it underline it you can hide text so if you don't want it showing in the video uh, here you can change the position of your text and uh, what I'm going to do for this first video I'm actually going to do that I'm going to check this and I want the text to be right in the middle of the video and when it does this it puts a, a background color overlay on top of the video clip so let's click it and you can see here that it made the background a little bit darker so the text stands out and you can see it much easier and it's right in the center so that that looks good if we scroll down we're going to see some other options here we're going to see where we can add a new scene we can add another video clip we can add or change transitions and we can merge scenes now when we merge scenes we're going to be merging the two clips together so it's going to take the text from this one and it's going to move it up here and put it in this video now we can also link them and what happens when we link them is it's going to use the previous slides background 
uh, for this clip also and it's going to play both clips as if it's just one clip so it'll play this one it'll play this one and read this text and then it'll keep the same background and then it will use this text so let me go ahead and just click this and you'll see what I mean so you can see it added the background from this one into this one and I'll just go ahead and leave it there so when I create the video you can see what it looks like okay so everything else looks good and all we have to do now is just scroll to the bottom of our video if we're done if we don't want to add any more scenes or add any more video clips we can click this big blue button okay now over here we have voice track options and this is a really powerful feature of content samurai and what we can do is we can use music only and if we preview it it's going to allow us to add uh, different types of music our own music or we can choose from some the content samurai has we can use auto voice and their auto voice is actually really well done and Harry here he's my favorite one he sounds to me the most realistic so if I choose him and you click play sample you can hear what he sounds like hi my name is Harry and I would love to read the script for your video so sit back relax and I'll do all the hard work for you okay and then I also like Heidi from the USA she sounds good hi my name is Heidi and I would love to read the script for your video so sit back relax and I'll do all the hard work for you so if you don't want to use your own voice or if you don't want to buy um, voice overs for your videos you can just use these and they will read off your script and sync it together with your video it's actually pretty amazing okay next we can record our own voice track and I've done this numerous times so basically what you do you can see over here it's recording my voice right now because I'm talking into my microphone but if I want to record each one of these all I would do is click record and then I would read off this line and then I would stop it and then I would do that for each one of these slides for the script and when I'm done it will take the audio that I recorded and it will sync it up with each slide so it it fits perfect it looks great and it goes slide by slide and there's nothing else you have to do and then you can also upload a voice track and that's what I'm going to do I have one already made so I'm going to go ahead and choose my file it's going to upload it and it's actually going to sync it to the video so we're going to give it just a minute and then when it's done we can preview it so I'm going to go ahead and click on preview and it doesn't take very long they actually done another huge update recently that processes the video and renders it so much faster it just takes a fraction of the time as what it used to okay so here's our video it's still in low quality and it's going to be like that till we create it but what we can what we can do now is we can select a background music uh, we can either select one of the ones they already have here this is the one that I like to use with a lot of my videos if I want to hear it I can just click the play button and if I want to actually add it to this video and hear it with the video I will tick the box beside of it now I can also add my own music here if I want but I'm gonna leave it just like this and then down here we can control the volume of the music we can control uh, the volume of the voice and the voice track speed so if we see that the voice is too fast or too slow we can even adjust that also and then we also have the choice of adding our own watermark to the video so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and play this so you guys can see how well this actually works how do you promote your services to get more customers if you're not using video marketing you're missing out fact an ad in the paper won't cut it anymore people would much rather be visually engaged than read did you know that by 2020, 80% of internet traffic will be video? It's time to jump on the visual bandwagon and allow us to create an engaging video that turns the right heads for the right reasons. A video is a fast, simple, and effective way to let your potential customers know what you do and why you do it all in just 60 to 90 seconds. What's more, Google loves video. If you have a video on your website, visitors are likely to stay for longer. These powerful metrics move you way up search results. Never underestimate the power of online video. Stand out from the crowd by dropping us a line and picking up the pace today.
Okay, so that's great. There was a couple videos in there that I may want to change out, and I can do that if I want. I can go back to scenes over here on the left-hand side, and I can go back and edit it again if I want to. Uh, but for this example, we're just going to leave it this way. Now, if I wanted to, I can come down here and click manually adjust timing. And if I do that, I can come down here and I can drag this. Um, and, and we can click and we can drag. You can see where my arrow changes here. So where I can click this and I can actually move it left or right to make the slide shorter or longer. And so I can drag this bar clear over to the end. And let's say I want the last slide to be a few seconds longer. You'll see right now it is 56 seconds. I can click here and I can drag it out. And you can see it's 58 seconds. And now it's a minute three. So we'll just leave it as a minute three. Okay, and now that that's done, all we have to do is click on looks good, continue. So we click this and we can generate our video. Now something that's pretty important you may want to consider doing also is making sure that you copy this and put it in your YouTube video after you create the video. Now what this is, is it's just because of the Creative Commons licenses for the videos and the images that may be used within your video, just giving credit back to the owners because some of those clips or images may require that. So what you would do is click create or generate your video. And normally, like I said before, this would take um, anywhere from four or five six minutes to do but now it's it's cut that down so far uh, with the new way that they have it set up so I'm gonna go ahead and let this render and then we'll see what the actual video looks like okay so all we have to do now is just click download the video and save it and then we're gonna go ahead and play it and see what we got all right and here we go how do you promote your services to get more customers if you're not using video marketing you're okay, and you can see the quality of this is much better and this is this is HD missing out fact an ad in the paper won't cut it anymore people would much rather be visually engaged than read did you know that by 2020 80 percent of internet okay, we've already watched this today. once so I'll go ahead and fast forward it to the end you can see the last few seconds where I drug it out to make it about eight nine seconds longer or something like that so that's all there is to it um, that's all there is to using Content Samurai. Uh, great tool, great way to make videos instead of uh, going out and paying someone $100, $200 to make you a professional type quality video. You can make them yourselves. You can even resell them. You can offer services on like Fiverr or any of those online places that um, give you the ability to make money by selling services on. So just remember if you do happen to click the link under this video and uh, purchase content samurai be sure to send me an email and let me know and I'm gonna send you guys some extra videos on how to rank these in YouTube uh, to get a lot better rankings and more exposure for your videos